Hello friends, welcome back to MS Active Webcast and in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to install and configure Remote Desktop Service on Windows Server 2012 R2. So when setting up a Remote Desktop Service, you have the options of running the three core roles on a single server or separate each roles onto its own server. If you are setting up a RDS for a lab or a small environment, then all-in-one setup would save you hardware resources. If your environment is large, you will want to separate these roles to spread the resources across multiple servers. No matter which setup you pick, they both can scale outward depending on user's growth. So for this demonstration, we are using this lab design and we have our one Active Directory domain controller with the domain mylab.local and we have another member server that is srtfysr01.mylab.local and this server is also part of our domain which is running on Windows Server 2012 R2 data center evolution edition so let's start the demonstration let's come back on our member server so on a member server open server manager and on a server manager dashboard click on add rules and features and on before you begin page click on next and on select installation type select remote desktop service installation and then click on next if you want to set up a three servers and then try this standard deployment method but get this done quickly we will just use quick start deployment which will put everything on a one server so here is the overview information about the quick start a quick start allows you to deploy remote desktop services on a one server and create the collection and publish remote app programs select quick start and then click on next the virtual desktop infrastructure means vdi scenario will be used to allow each users to have their own virtual machine but we want to deploy the session virtualization scenario which the analogs to what everyone thinks of with terminal services multiple user sessions working independently on a one server so for this demonstration we will use session based desktop deployment and then click on next on selected server already our server is selected that is the srt fns service 01 because we have only one server and the quick start will install the, the rd connection broker rd web access and rd session host role services on the same server click on next it is indicating that RD Connection Broker, RD Web Access, and RD Session Host role will be installed on the server srt service onemylablocal Select Restart the destination server automatically if required and then click on Deploy. So after reboot, log back into your server as a domain administrator credential. Now the server manager resume the deployment and as you are seeing the configuration is in progress and that's it the installation is completed successfully now you can also connect the rd web access by using this url but right now we are not going to access the rd web access click on close click on remote desktop services click on quick session collection and if you went through the uh, quick setup of our remote desktop services, it will create a collection called quick session collection that contains the application, wordpad, paint and calculator. Now if you want to add a certain new application, you can click, just click on task and select publish remote app program. It will start a one wizard. This will scan your uh, remote desktop session host for install application and all applications will be displayed over here. Now here we have a uh, three applications are there: calculator, paint, and wordpad. And from this, uh, for just for a testing purpose, we are going to use, uh, for example, let's take step recorder. Click on next. Click on publish. Now click on close to complete the publish process. So now we have a four application. You can also go to the property, edit property. And here you can specify the user right assignments. You can specify which users group have a permission to access these applications from quick session collection. By default, all users and group that have access to the collection, they have the access. If you want to assign a specified group or user's permission, that time you can just click over here, add and browse your group from Active Directory. Right now we are not going to edit anything, just click on cancel. And now let's access the remote app program by using web access. And I have a one Windows 7 computer. Let's open the Internet Explorer. 
Yeah, we have to just specify the path https colon double slash srt hyphen srv01 slash rd web. Click on continue to this website to have a certificate error. Okay, now specify the username and password. Let's specify the credential of our administrator. Click on sign in. Now, once you logged in, you will see the application that you have access to. Now we have, as you are seeing, we have a calculator, MS Paint, Step Recording, and WordPad. So, click on an application to launch it. Let's uh, click on Paint. Click on Connect. Now, specify the credential of the user administrator at mylab.local and his password. So that prompt is uh, Internet Explorer warning you that the website is trying to start a program on your computer. It's using the ActiveX control to launch the local RDP client. This warning can be suppressed by group policy once the website certificate is replaced. But for now, we have to use like that way. So first time, this will take some time to complete. And once it is connected, the application would look just like any locally installed application. But you will also notice a new system tray icon the so that you are connected to remote workplace and there you have it RDS is quick and easy on a one server that's done so this is the way how we can install and configure remote desktop services on Windows Server 2012 R2 by using single server in the next video we will see how to install and configure remote desktop service by using standard deployment method and in that demonstration we will use three servers for the demonstration. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching this demonstration.